Good morning. Like it says, are you ready for more? So good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Scott Smith. I'm the director of the Saul Foundation Open. And on behalf of our team, I'd like to welcome and thank everyone for uh, joining us this morning. Special thanks to uh, Mayor Hobbs and the city for uh, hosting this morning's event. Um, I see Rebecca Johnson is here with us today. Thank you, Rebecca, for coming. Um, We'd also like to thank uh, Sean Spinthreth from uh, Spin Films. Um, he's the gentleman that produced that film, and he volunteered last year with our event as a videographer, and I think he did a great job of putting that together. And he's a great example of how volunteers really make this event possible and really add a lot to this event. Today, on behalf of the uh, Stolf family and the Mackenzie Tour, PGA Tour Canada. Uh, we're excited and so proud to announce that uh, the Stahl Foundation Open presented by T. Baytel will be returning uh, for its fourth year in Thunder Bay. The 2017 Stahl Foundation Open will take place July 10th through the 16th again at the Whitewater Golf Course this uh, summer. So we're excited about that. Uh, I want to give a huge thank you to the Stahl family once again uh, for backing this incredibly successful event here in Thunder Bay. And uh, it really speaks to the values and the commitment that the Stahl family has to this community and their give back to this community. They've been, over the last three years, they've been a, an incredible asset to this event and really have uh, helped raise over a half a million dollars for local charities. So they deserve a lot of credit uh, for our success. Uh, here with a special video uh, for, on behalf of the Stahl family, we'd like to uh, bring Eric to say a few words uh, on behalf of his family. So Thunder Bay, we're definitely ready for more. Uh, on behalf of my family, we wanna uh, share our excitement in bringing back Stahl Foundation Open uh, this, this coming summer. Uh, the community has really rallied around the tournament the last three years, raising over half a million dollars for local families and children fighting cancer. Uh, we hope you stay involved and look forward to seeing you this summer at the Stahl Foundation Open July 10th to 17th at the Whitewater Golf Club. So uh, it was quite a feat to get, uh, Eric's been on the road for the last week, so when I asked him to do this for us, uh, uh, he said, well, I'm coming back home on Sunday, so uh, we'll put something together. So we appreciate, again, what they do and the time they take away from such a busy schedule in that life. So uh, we really appreciate everything they do. Uh, so a huge thank you to Eric and the Stahl family uh, for all their support in making this community event such a success. Um, and if anybody catch or has the opportunity to get down to Minnesota to see the wild, uh, I'm not sure if you're following the wild, but uh, Eric's having a phenomenal year. He's right now leading the scoring for the wild, and he's in the top of the points for the wild. So uh, they're doing very well, and uh, I'm sure he'd be glad to see you down watching one of the wild games. So if you get the opportunity, uh, head down there and see a game. That was my plug for the Minnesota Wild. <laughs> What, what do you think, Mayor Hobbs, are you for the wild this year? <laughs> a little bit. So now before turning uh, things over to our first speaker, I'd like to take a moment uh, to give a note of thanks to uh, an incredible and passionate team of volunteers that we have. This event really uh, you know, doesn't happen without the support of our volunteers. Uh, many of our uh, committee chairs are here today, and uh, we, we need to thank them for all the work that they do. Um, we have a, about 15 uh, board members uh, that have been with us for the past three years in an advisory uh, position that have really helped to direct where this tournament went. Uh, and over 500 volunteers and caddies that have really given us their time and support to make an event like this happen. happen. So we'd like to thank them for all their support. Uh, they've been incredible. We'd also like to thank, uh, you know, endless number of uh, corporate sponsors and partners and organizations within this community that have come on board and, and supported this event. Uh, we'd like to thank Oliver Papunj, the City of Thunder Bay, the provincial government for their support. 
and uh, a lot of these gentlemen, the media, the media that been phenomenal with us. Uh, we've got Google Media that supported us. We've got the Chronicle Journal, uh, Katie Broadcasting, and Net News Ledger that have really been a big part of this event. And uh, CBC as well. As well, the incredible team of FireDog Communications. I mean, these people have, uh, they put together this event this morning and uh, I definitely couldn't organize all this work. So to them, a big thank you for all their support. It's, it's kind of humbling uh, to see the amount of support an event like this gets within our community. And, uh, you know, I am truly honored to be able to have been part of this and to work with all these phenomenal volunteers that have given that much time to this community. And like I've always said, is uh, it's amazing what a community can do when you come together and work together. So thank you to all those volunteers. And Dan Topadai uh, from t -Bay Tell and their team. Uh, they've been a great presenting sponsor for this event over the past three years and have come on board again. And uh, they come down there that week, their team, and uh, they make things happen for us. And uh, we appreciate, it's been a great partnership and we enjoy having them on board. And Dan will be able to say a few words. So a big round of applause for our volunteers, sponsors. So at this time, I'd like to invite Scott Pritchard, uh, the Director of uh, Tournament Business Affairs for the McKenzie Tour PGA Tour, to say a few words on behalf of the PGA Tour. Thank well, thanks everybody. Thanks for, uh, for coming out. We're truly excited to be coming back to Thunder Bay for one of the highlights of the year on the schedule for not only our staff, but in particular our, our players. The, the number of people that open up their homes to, to our players and, and billet them and feed them and drive them around uh, is tremendous and it's a really a testament to the community and, and similar to what Scott said on how uh, everybody gets behind the event. So um, a couple of thank yous and then I'll just share a, a quick tidbit on some players that have played up here in Thunder Bay and have gone on to do some really great things. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank Scott Smith for his uh, dedicated leadership and passion for this event over the last three years and, and uh, stewarding the ship uh, uh, into the next uh, next couple of years uh, for this event as we uh, transition in, in, in a new board. And I'm really looking forward and excited to be working with uh, some of the new people involved with the tournament, in particular the incoming board. Um, and uh, as well as Jeff Finnerty, who, uh, who's gonna be leading the, the sales effort under uh, Scott's uh, tutelage as uh, one of our top uh, sales instructors uh, on, on the tour. It's funny, when Scott comes down to our meetings, uh, people always gravitate towards Scott and, and ask him, you know, what's the secret to your success in, in Thunder Bay? Because uh, by far, um, this tournament is performing or outperforming a number of our events on, on tour. And again, that's not... Yeah. I'm not going to give Scott all the credit, uh, but he, he definitely <coughs> deserves a lot. Um, obviously, Scott mentioned the Stahl family. Uh, I've had the, the opportunity to, to get to know the family uh, over the course of the last three years, and I can tell you, you guys must be extremely proud of the Stahl family, and in particular of the brothers, and how great representatives they are and ambassadors for the city of Thunder Bay. Uh, to me personally, they've been tremendous, and. Uh, you know, we really enjoy working with them and we're, we're very excited to have them back on board for the next couple of years. Um, T. Baytel as well, Dan and your team again have been tremendous. Uh, in particular, one of the big things, believe it or not, with players, uh, we have a number of players that are, that are American and they come up to Canada and they, uh, they need to get on the, the Wi-Fi. And so the T. Baytel Wi-Fi has been a, a big hit with our players. So we, we really appreciate that. Um, and, and speaking of the players, um, over the course of the, the last three years, we've, we've had some, some pretty good champions. Uh, in particular, JJ Spawn, who won in 2014, is now a full member on the PGA Tour. So uh, definitely I know there's a number of uh, T. Baytel people that are, that are following JJ and his success. And we obviously, from a tour perspective, wish him nothing but the best. Um, Taylor Moore, who won here last year, is now a full member of the Web.com Tour and uh, is currently, I, I, I last checked about 45 minutes ago, he's, they're playing their opening event in the Bahamas and Taylor is uh, tied for 14th right now 
He also, also finished second at the web.com tour uh, qualifying school. So he'll be a great ambassador for, for Thunder Bay as well. And then if we look at uh, Mackenzie Hughes, who played here, only played here once, he played here in 2015, um, made the cut. And uh, if, if everyone follows golf, um, and in particular, some of the players that have played here, you know that Mackenzie won on the PGA Tour, uh, just 16 months removed from playing up here in Thunder Bay. So again, a testament to the caliber of play uh, from our players. And I can tell you that uh, once the schedule is released in a few weeks, that all the players will be circling Thunder Bay as a can't miss event that they'll want to be at. Um, so again, I'd like to thank the community in particular for supporting the event. We look forward to even bigger and better things in the coming years. And uh, we'll see you in July. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Thank you for the for the nice nice words. Me and Scott have a great relationship over the last four years. Uh, with the new tournament ahead uh, today, we are also thrilled to be announcing a new roster of uh, dedicated community volunteers. Uh, some will say that. Uh, that I kind of talk people into doing things, and I'll agree with you, uh, but it's for a good reason. And uh, today we are gonna be introducing a new board of directors, and uh, that and these this board of directors is uh, another dream team that are, is gonna take this, uh, this event to another level. Uh, with that being said, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Walter Flaza, one of the new directors of the inaugural Stahl Foundation and Open Board to say a few words. Well, thank you very much, Scott. Having been a, a spectator, a sponsor, a volunteer, and a participant in the last three editions of the uh, Stahl Foundation Open, I'm just very excited excited to be a part of this announcement as a new member of the new board. Since inception, we've seen tremendous growth in the event and the positive impact that it's had on Thunder Bay and our uh, region. The 2016 Stahl Foundation Open presented by T-Bay Tell saw incredible success last summer, uh, raising about $250,000 directed to three very important charities through the uh, Stahl Family Foundation. Our goal as a new board is for the Stahl Foundation open to continue to create that positive impact in our community. So on that note, uh, to speak on behalf of the uh, community, I'd like to call upon Mayor Keith Hobbs to say a few words. Well, thanks very much, Walter, and good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. And it is a great way to start off the new year for sure. Uh, thanks very much, Scott, for uh, choosing City Hall to uh, do this uh, great announcement as I was shoveling off my car this morning and uh, fell over into a snowbank as I slipped. Um, I was very much looking forward to all. Uh, our winters are pretty brutal. Scott, it's great to see you again. Uh, Scott Pritchard from Mackenzie Tour. Uh, always a pleasure to see uh, you here in Thunder Bay. I was also thinking about the number four this morning. Um, the fourth anniversary of this tournament, the fourth tournament, uh, of course, Bobby Orr, number four. And this tournament raised about $4 million for our community last year. So uh, four is the glorious number for sure this year. And uh, is Bobby coming back? You can't say? Yes. Okay, I'll be, I'll be waiting with uh, bated breath, but uh, this is such a, a great um, a community event. We talk about our strategic plan, and uh, Rebecca Johnson is here today too from City Council. Uh, healthy, vibrant, connected, and strong, and I see Shelby Chung back there as well, Paul Happy uh, from City Tourism. Um, we are looking at uh, a healthy, vibrant, connected, and strong community, and this tournament is so indicative of that. And uh, what, what has happened in the last three years is just amazing. Not only that, um, you know, sometimes the city gets put in bad light in the national media, and uh, this, this erases all of that. This is, uh, puts our community on the map, just not only in Thunder Bay, uh, provincially, nationally, and internationally, and I can't say enough about it. Sponsors and volunteers are second to none. The volunteerism in Thunder Bay is just amazing. And this tournament, again, is indicative of that. 
Uh, Dan Tolkade, TBATEL, uh, what you do for our community and what you're doing for this tournament, uh, it's already been said, but it needs to be said again. And Scott, when you were up here, um, you did praise everyone but yourself, and uh, I want to give it up for Scott. Uh, on a, on a He is the face of this tournament and, um, and probably always will be. I remember at uh, City Council when Scott came to us and did a deputation and uh, uh, we agreed as a council unanimously to back this endeavor and we got some criticism from the community as we always do when we make a decision and uh, we said we're going to stick with it. This is going to be great for Thunder Bay and we've proven all the skeptics wrong and you've done that Scott with your team. Also, just on a personal note, uh, one of the new board members is my policy and research assistant, Anna Belita. I gotta give you a shout out. Um, Anna has done a lot of uh, volunteerism and work with CNIB and other organizations. And, and Walter, that's the caliber that you have on your board. And uh, having said that, I know that the fourth is gonna be the best. So thanks everyone. Uh, when I look about the room and I see this many people at a media conference and we've done lots in the city of Thunder Bay and City Hall, uh, we're off to a good start again this year. So take care, everyone. See you on the golf course. And enjoy. Well, thank you, uh, Mayor Hobbs, for, uh, for your continued support and for the uh, support of the City of Thunder Bay uh, with respect to the uh, continued partnership that you have with the, uh, the tournament. <laughs> now, as the Mayor said, the Stahl Foundation Open is uh, so much more uh, than just golf. And this tournament would not be a success than it is without uh, strong, engaged partners and, and sponsors at the, uh, the table. Uh, T. Baytel is one of those and has been a tremendous supporter of the uh, Stahl Foundation Open. What I'd like to do now is invite uh, Dan Topatai, President and CEO of T. Baytel, to the podium to say a few words. Thank you very much, Walter, and uh, I'm sure uh, everyone knows it from uh, TBA Tell's perspective. It's, it's been a pleasure sponsoring this event for the last three years. I'm very pleased today to be uh, sharing the news with you that we are returning as a presenting sponsor for 2017 and 2018 as well. I said it before, the impact of this event is uh, truly phenomenal, both from the uh, economic activity that gets generated inside of the community in the region, uh, the fact that $500,000 or more was raised for uh, charities in and around uh, Thunder Bay and, uh, and for very, very worthy causes, but also for the lasting impression at least. I've played with a lot of the folks who were first-time visitors to Thunder Bay, and I can tell you the volunteers and, uh, and the um, a quality of the event uh, really left a lasting impression, so I think we all need to be very, very proud of that. Uh, one of TBA Tell's main goals is to certainly form partnerships with organizations that uh, create healthy, strong, and vibrant communities, and there's no question that this event does exactly that. So uh, I would like to first thank the outgoing members of the uh, Board of Directors for all the hard work and uh, quality of the event that they've uh, put on for the last three years. I'd like to uh, certainly extend my welcome to all of the, uh, the new board members. We look forward to uh, working with uh, those individuals for another successful tournament. And um, you know, from my standpoint, I'm extremely proud to be uh, part of the group that's uh, the presenting sponsor and uh, looking forward not only to what the city has to offer, the golf course has to offer, and the tournament, uh, but uh, it's going to be a world-class event once again. So thank you. All right, uh, thank you, Dan, for the uh, terrific support that, uh, that you and uh, TV Tell have uh, provided to our, uh, to our event. So we've, we've talked about the, uh, the new board, and, and really to undertake an initiative like this, you need a really strong core of committed, community-minded volunteers. And today I'm, I'm very pleased to introduce you to a group of amazing people. My fellow board members will be leading the 2017 tournament. We have uh, Anna Bolita, Brian Campbell, uh, myself, Jay Johnstone, Tom Mustapik, Gloria Sherman, Heather Vita, and uh, nobody's going anywhere. Uh, Scott, Marv, uh, we're uh, happy to be, uh, be working with you uh, this year and next year and the year after. And the year after. Uh, 
to help bring a uh, again that marquee event to uh, uh, the city of Thunder Bay. Um, you know, on behalf of the new board, I do want to thank the uh, the uh, the old board, which uh, you know actually uh, was really a small small core of people who uh, who've really done incredible things. Um, so, as an added note, Walter, why don't we invite the, some of the ones that are here today with you? Well, you know what? Uh, that's probably a good idea for a photo op or uh, something. Jay, I see you standing over there. Uh, oh, come on, Gloria, come on up, uh, Anna. Mark, come on, Mark. Mark, Mark, come on up. So who's not here? We move over. <laughs> All right. Here's our new board. <laughs> now, as an added note, uh, we did uh, we did hear uh, Jeff. Uh, Fenerty uh, mentioned earlier, he's a, a new member of our team. He's going to be working with uh, with marketing and with our partners to uh, to bring the uh, 2017 event uh, uh, to us uh, to fruition this year. And like I said, our goal as a new board will be to put on a, a marquee event for the community. And we are determined to make this a great and fun experience for spectators, volunteers, sponsors, partners, and participants. There's going to be something for everybody. Golf fans are going to see some incredibly talented athletes playing their game. Sports fans are going to see uh, some of their heroes. We're going to have activities for kids and families. We're going to have fun activities for uh, volunteers, sponsors. And it's going to be, uh, I hope, just a wonderful event. We, as the, uh, the new board, are pleased to be bringing you the fourth Stahl Foundation Open presented by T. Tell at Whitewater Golf Club this July 10th to 16th. Stay tuned, uh, we're going to be making announcements as we move towards the, uh, the, uh, the day of the event, the week of the event. Uh, just go to uh, the Stahl Foundation Open Facebook page. If you click the like button and click the follow button, You'll be in the loop on all the uh, the exciting announcements that we're going to be making over the next few months. So, before we wind up this uh, press conference, I believe that we have another video. <coughs> the Stall Foundation Open is driving the word community home, and bringing some of the best athletes from near and far along for the ride, creating a world-class sporting event in northwestern Ontario. The entire community has gotten behind this event. You could just see the community is so thrilled to be out here. Thunder Bay people get behind things. They come out and support it. It's really been incredible. We want tournaments to be more than just a golf competition. We want it to be something that engages the whole community. And nobody has done it better on our tour than this event right here. The Stahl family is committed just as much to community as they are to hockey. Cancer affects everybody. We're now all having families of our own and couldn't imagine going through something like that and for us to be able to just give back a little bit and, and support some great charities in the community here and, and uh, people that could really use the support, it's uh, important to us. Hopefully we can continue to do this for years to come. Cancer hits really close to home. My sister passed away six years ago to cancer and just seeing um, what my parents went through losing a child and just for um, my whole family experiencing that, you know, no family should have to deal with that and if we can help in any way just to make it easier, we want to do anything that we can. Thanks to the Stahl family's dedication and contributions, hundreds of volunteers and corporate support, the Stahl Foundation Open is making a positive difference in Thunder Bay and across the region. Over the past three years, more than half a million dollars has been raised for families with kids battling cancer. The money that's raised helps us go very far with our programming and outreach uh, into our Northwestern Ontario region. It means a lot that they would put their names forward to help raise the funds for us, but also to uh, interact with the kids. And quality helps my family because my family gets to meet other families that, with kids that have had cancer, and they help out each other. 
I think our kids will be talking about this for the rest of the week and for weeks to come. It's going to be a highlight of the week for them and memories they'll keep with them for a long time. It makes us proud to be a local business here in Thunder Bay. We're very thankful to be able to be in a position to participate and sponsor uh, the tournament at this level and give back to the community. We're really looking for events that uh, could add value to the community and make the community stronger and more vibrant. To me, I think we've uh, certainly achieved our, our corporate objective to be able to support the community. Not only the economic driver, but to see the smiles on the kids' faces, that's worth the price of admission alone. We've raised a ton of money, but we've met a lot of great people, and we've really appreciated Thunder Bay's support. I think everyone's been so involved, and it's been just a lot of fun, and hopefully we uh, keep exceeding those expectations. Thank you for being a part of our team, for your time, your support, and helping families with kids battling cancer. So uh, thank you very much everyone for, uh, for coming out on this kind of uh, snowy day to, uh, to be part of this uh, very important announcement for the community. Uh, like I say, keep in, keep in touch by uh, clicking us on Facebook, and uh, we'll uh, look forward to seeing you this July. Uh, that concludes the, uh, the media conference. Uh, there will be uh, uh, different people available to, uh, to chat with, uh, with media if, uh, if you want to. Um, so have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.